Almost everything in your room can have an effect on the acoustics, but it's not always the effect that we're looking for. Things like furniture or flooring can absorb or reflect sounds in ways that can be unpredictable, which can lead you to wonder whether or not you should keep these things in your room or not, or whether or not your room is suitable for acoustic treatment to begin with. Obviously, there are some types of rooms you want to avoid entirely. Square, very small rooms are difficult to treat, as well as rooms with low ceilings or asymmetrical designs. But regardless of the room you're working with, even if the conditions aren't ideal, there's still probably a lot we can do to optimize that room to make it suitable for your needs. Things like vertical beams and columns might look like they'd cause issues, but mostly their effects on room acoustics is negligible. Windows can be a little bit more difficult to treat around, but glass and drywall actually have similar reflectivity and there are more than a few methods for placing treatment in front of windows. Many people worry that their hardwood flooring is too reflective and that they need a carpeted room in order to start building their studio. If you took two untreated rooms, one with carpet and one with hardwood, and tested them, then the one with carpet would sound a lot better because it's got a huge surface area acting as an absorber. This might lead you to think that carpet is definitively better than hardwood flooring for room acoustics, but the truth is a little bit more complicated. A good rule of thumb for absorbers is that the thicker the material, the lower the effective frequency range. And while even our thinnest panels are over a few inches thick, the thickest carpets are only about a half an inch thick. So carpet's really only going to be effective at absorbing very high frequencies. In smaller rooms, the challenge of treatment is usually absorbing enough of the lower frequencies without overabsorbing the mids and highs. It's why our Flex Range series has the option of a range limiting membrane, so that you can absorb lower frequencies while retaining the other frequencies, which gives a more balanced room suitable for audio or music production. Carpet will do the exact opposite and completely miss the bass frequencies while absorbing the useful high frequency sound, which can make the room sound dead. The same can be true for curtains, drapes, or soft and plush furniture. Most of the household items that absorb sound do so in the higher frequencies that can be useful for retaining a room's liveliness. Larger pieces of furniture can start to absorb low frequencies, but they're not nearly a good enough alternative to bass traps. Leather can actually be very reflective, and the internal structure of the furniture is built with standing strength, not room acoustics in mind. Having an area rug that you can move around is a good compromise from wall-to-wall -wall carpeting that can leave your room sounding dead. An area rug can be useful for setting up record zones for live rooms or if you just want to experiment with treating different areas of your floor. No matter what your layout, flooring, or furniture situation is, there's always improvements to be made. So even if you feel like your room's less than ideal, tell us about it in our free acoustic advice form and we'll break down what methods you can use to achieve great sound. Get free acoustic advice, visit GIKAcoustics.com for educational articles and tutorials.